Woman in Red, a masterpiece by Ralph Albert Blakelock or a forgery? Today, scientists can help answer such questions with a technique known as neutron activation analysis. This cutaway of the reactor at the Brookhaven National Laboratory shows a patient being ready to receive radiation therapy during medical research. But Dr. Maurice J. Cotter of the City University of New York places the painting in the reactor to make the chemicals on the canvas radioactive. Here's the general idea. Cover the painting with photographic film. The radioactive chemicals, decaying at known rates, will produce different images on the film. Within minutes after the exposure in the reactor, this print was produced primarily by the zinc and the barium in the paint. Days later, this print was produced by the mercury used in the red to paint the dress. A closer look at that print reveals that in the lower left-hand corner, hidden under the paint, is a partially scraped away signature, probably that of Marion Blakelock, the painter's daughter. Here's her signature on another painting. She probably used one of her old canvases to paint a new picture in her father's style. The Woman in Red, a realistic art forgery,